Muslims be united? How can they be unified? How be united? How can be united? It'll take a miracle. That's a simple and that's a simple answer. Um, stop. As stop. We all follow the same, uh, yeah. the same beliefs and the same path. So okay. Just come, come, to to come, to come, come together. Yeah, but we all got to be on the same path. The problem that the Muslims are not united, it's only because everybody looks on the other's mistakes. Yeah, we keep a, noticing yeah, others, okay, this guy, this has a mistake. And this is what the Quran and the Hadith teach us. So look at your own character. L look at here. How good I am. What's going to happen to me on the Day of Judgment? Rather than I'm looking at this guy, oh, he's wearing a cap, he's not wearing a good dress, he doesn't know how to talk. Why should I should be worrying about but myself? This is, only, Tom, this is not, this is only a shield. So the, the clothes just make people. Because, because what happened? Because you don't understand. Put, put put on, that makes you. Okay, you don't understand but something. You, this yeah, cause of, uh, because. The heart, the mind, the soul, that makes you, not what you put on. Okay, this cause of fitna in the society. That's called the backbiting. That's called the fitna. Let's say. According to the Hadith Pro Prophet Sallallahu said, even he has a bad habits, right? Don't go to him and tell him he has a bad habits. Mm -hmm. If you want to correct him, you talk to him in personally, mm -hmm. but do not tell him in the public, or do not go to the third person, or mm -hmm. this guy lie. But you remember Yusuf with the Prophet, and Yusuf walked by, every morning he used to walk by the same, same path, every morning. And this old lady used to throw garbage on him. You know that story? Mm -hmm. That's a hadith. It's a hadith. And when, when, when one day he came by, and the lady, she didn't throw nothing on him. And he was wondering why nothing happened. So he went up to see why nothing happened, why she didn't, didn't show, didn't throw didn't nothing on him. Yeah. And he was sick. And after that, she became Muslim. You know, when Prophet she was Salah. surprised. Why you came to see me? All I did to you, and you came to see me. When the Prophet ﷺ used to see a problem or any mistakes in, um, in his any Sahaba, he used to go in a sermon. He used to talk generally, not directing to a one person. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to correct him, talk to him personally, brother, this is not right because it doesn't do good. Yeah. So, now let me continue. Okay. Now what is jihad? Jihad or not? What is jihad? What did you have? Okay, according to the media, they have really corrupted this word, a jihad. I'm sure everybody knows that on TV, media, and they are trying to use this word, trying to create hatred. But basically, it simply means trying. It basically simply means you try. What is the best jihad for a human being? Who can say that? The what is the biggest jihad for a human being? For a Muslim, you say. Number one. Accept responsibility for your action. Number one. So Number one first. That's the first one. The What's the first jihad? Yeah, Who's going to answer that? Okay. The first, the first jihad and the number one jihad is, is called jihad bin nafs. Your own self. Your own self. Let's say if you're smoking, right? Mm -hmm. You need to fight your own self to stop smoking. People are so weak. They're doing five times prayer. They're doing everything, but they do not have the power to fight themselves to stop stop the smoking. Right. And a lot of people have having a way of using a rough language, cursing. They have no power inside to, to be very strong to stop themselves. Okay. Okay, I think uh, it's too late and I have a lot of list of questions. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.